What's up, my dear friends of the world? Paul the Trombone is here in this video. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to share with this with you. I've never shared this with anyone. And this is so powerful. In this video, I'm gonna share with you on how you can grow a career at lightning speed. And this will allow you to move your way up in your career, no matter who you are, no matter what you are doing in this world. If you are somebody that is in an environment where you want to move that farther, this is gonna change your life, this video. I've never shared this with anyone before. And this is so incredibly powerful. And by the end of it, you're gonna be like, whoa! And if I do good on my promise, all I ask is for a like and you subscribe to these videos with the notifications because that way I can provide you more value in the future. This is my dear friend, the banana, Mr. Banana. At the end of the video, he's gonna give you a special magic word of the day that's gonna go boom, boom, boom. You're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. People love it. All right, so don't go anywhere. Okay. So we're talking about a career here. What's a career? Well, a career is anything that you do in this world that provides a service. Now, if you think about a career, and if you think about how when you progress in your career, it's all about these relationships you have with people. So if you've seen some of my other videos, I have talked a little bit about how you can build rapport with those relationships. Now, we're gonna talk more in depth on this video because this video is going to really show you how to create that career to a great place at lightning speeds. I want you to think about people in four categories, okay? And the four categories go as follow. We're gonna say category four. Category four people, they don't know who you are at yet. Category four people, they have no clue who you are. <laughs> You. Category three people may know a little bit about you, but don't know too much. They may have heard about you, but they don't really know too much. That's category three people. Category two people, they're people where you may have had a dialogue with them and they may call you an acquaintance. Like, oh yeah, I know them, I dealt with them here, or something like that, right? And then there's category one people. These are your tested, true friends that you can call up and be like, what's up? How you doing? Those are category one people. So if you want to think about life and you want to think about how to progress a career forward, it's all about relationships. And if you think about people in four different categories, we want to move the fours into threes. We want to move the threes into twos. And we want to move the twos into ones, okay? So this is, this will actually blow your mind here. So this is pretty crazy stuff when you start to think about life like this. So the category four people, so how do we get them to know who we are? We need to stand out in front of them and we need to let them have an awareness of us, okay? And that may be through someone that is a friend, may introduce them to you, to another person, and that's a four, and then all of a sudden that person now turns into a three. That kind of a situation. Or maybe if it's on online or something, they didn't know about you and you stepped in front of them through social media or through some ad or something, and all of a sudden they know who you are, okay? So then you turned them into a three. So fours have no clue you are, threes, there's a little bit of an awareness of you are. So now we need to take those threes and we need to turn them into twos. These are maybe acquaintances that maybe like, oh yeah, I worked with them here, I did this, there, and all that. So how do we do this? Well, my dear friends of the world, there is a law in the world called the law of reciprocity. Now reciprocity means that when you do something for somebody, they can't help but feel kind of indebted to you where they wanna return the favor. It's just an instinct we have. It's just something we feel like we gotta do. For example, if you are at the grocery store and someone's doing amazing service, or if you're at a restaurant and someone is doing an amazing service for you, or if you're at a hotel and they over deliver with amazing service, you feel compelled to give these people some sort of a tip. You just feel like you have to because you just want to because there's that law of reciprocity. It doesn't feel like a chore. It doesn't feel like someone's telling you to do this. You just want to do this because it's inside you that you want to give this law of reciprocity, this tip to them because they did something so nice to you. For example, if somebody does a favor for you, gives you an opportunity in this world, you're like, oh, they hooked me up here. I'm gonna hook them up there, right? So this is how you, you kind of can think about your career, is you really wanna take the fours into threes, you really wanna turn the threes into twos, and you really wanna to turn the twos into ones, okay? And as you start to do this law of reciprocity, and you don't ask for anything in return with these people. You just do nice things for these people. These people, will wanna do nice things for you. So if you think about these categories, we have these four categories of human beings. We take the fours, we wanna turn them into threes, remember? 
Threes, they have an awareness. We take the threes, we turn them into acquaintances. We're like, oh yeah, I, I know them a bit. I've worked with them on some stuff and they help me out here and blah, 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 blah. And then we're gonna take those twos into ones. Now this is where we'll go, this is the aha moment that I had. <laughs> is the more ones you have in your life, the more opportunities you have, which propel your career higher. So you wanna have a lot of ones in your life. A lot of ones. That's what you gotta do. You gotta make sure everyone's a one. How do you get them to be a one? Law of reciprocity, you do nice things for these people. And the more nice things you do to the threes, they turn into twos. The more nice things you do for the twos, they turn into ones. And you wanna have a lot of ones in your, this is crazy guys. You wanna have a lot of ones in your life. When I started to understand this, and the more ones that were in my life, the more opportunities that started to happen. This is how you do it, guys. This is how you do it. You want a lot of ones. So let's review. Fours, they don't know you. We gotta get them to know you, to turn them into threes. At least know that you exist. They turn into threes. Once they're threes, you say, hey, here's this that can help you, and all of that. The threes then turn into twos. Now there's some kind of relationship, but it's not quite buddy-buddy where you can just say, what's up, you know? And those twos, we then turn them into ones. This is the process. The more ones in your life, the more opportunities you have. The more opportunities you have, the faster you can grow your career like a lightning rod. Real quick, on another camera, because this message is important for those that are interested in growing a career online, I put up a free class. The link is right in the description. If it's in there right now, it's still up. So go ahead and check in the description and I may pin a comment too so you can get to the access to the class. It's, uh, we'll show you exactly how to create a career online and really grow it into something special that will last you the rest of your life. If you found value in this whatsoever, how about a little like for the YouTube algorithm? I'd appreciate that so much. And also subscribe with the notifications. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing people by the way. I don't tell you enough. I really appreciate you guys so much. Oh, and I wanted to tell you another thing as you saw maybe on a previous few videos, my nephew. He's the cutest nephew. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. And he uh, just turned eight years old and he loves YouTubers, you know. And he always asks me, hey, are you getting the 100,000 subscriber award soon? And what we found is that uh, I would love to really unbox that award for him on this channel and make his day so much. So if you haven't already subscribed, uh, I just ask that you subscribe to this channel so I can unbox that award for him and get to the 100,000 club on this channel. We're halfway there at this moment. So yeah, we're gonna get there. By the way, Mr. Banana, word of the day. Here's Mr. Banana, he's our good friend here. And he always likes to close out these videos with a word of the day. And one of the interesting things about it is we found that if you repeat back the word of the day in the comment section below, magical things happen where I hit the heart thing next to the comment and I reply back to it. It's weird, I don't know, it's so weird. Oh my gosh. So this is Mr. Banana, he's gonna say something to you. Okay, let's see what he says today. All right, what are you gonna say to for us today, Mr. I used to microwave food, and then I started putting the food in the frying pan. And what I found was that when I put it in the oven, all is good. So if you caught what he said uh, for the word of the day, then uh, you just comment that down below. And if you need to maybe watch the replay of this, you can watch a few times and see what he says again. So that way, uh, if you missed it, you can just go back with the scroll bars and you can check it out, all right? So my name's Paul the Trombonist, this is Mr. Banana, and if you're new here, welcome to my world where dreams come true. And I always have to remind you of one very important thing. I don't like to call it a thing because it kind of degrades the quality of what I'm about to tell you, so I'm gonna call it a gem of wisdom. You can tune a piano, but you cannot tune a fish, or can you? Paul the Trombonist, signing off.